Hey guys, it's Del Val, and we're back for another Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun Achievement Guide. This time we're going after Wing Cut Across the Neck, which can be obtained in the final level of the game, Sun Poo Castle. You will need to use Ayuko for this, so as soon as the level starts, select her, get her across the water and into this tower. Now, I make a quick save at this tower just because it can be a bit finicky with the guard's view cone sometimes, I don't know what causes it. But, but roughly where we put my marker is where we're going to run to once it's safe. And you'll know it's safe because the straw hat guard that is going to the troughs. Once he gets in position, you wait for him to turn around to start leaving again. As soon as he turns around, run for where we place the mark. And then wait for the straw hat that you ran behind to l start looking towards the troughs. And then f make a full sprint for the cart and crouch once you hit the boxes so you don't get spotted by the guard by the stables. Now, there is another patrolling guard that comes in the gate and then back out towards in front of the samurai. Wait for him to turn his back and then wait for the guard by the stables to start fully facing towards uh, the cart and towards the tower that you came from. Once that happens, sprint behind the boxes, climb up the vines and drop down behind the house, make it to the bushes and then come up the hook shop. Now, if you saw the Atheist Ox video, you'll know we went the opposite direction uh, from where we're going now. So just jump to the right hand side of the gatehouse, jump into the bushes, and the reason we wait a minute here is you'll see there is a guard that comes into this little courtyard who will talk to each of the three guards in here. Uh, once he stops talking to the guard that's closest to you, make a run straight for the vines and climb onto the roof. Now the guard in the tower will be able to spot you, so once he looks away, run straight into the corner and he won't be able to. Jump off the roof when the other guard does look away and then just sprint straight across the street to the vines. Jump off the platform, knock at the civilian and put him in the toilets. Now, I do recommend the constantly be making quick saves to do this. If you want a slower version of the path that we took, then check out the Atheist Ox Guide. Now, for the final area, you need to get on top of this roof in order to do so. To do so you will need to get rid of these two guards by the gate. Now I use the matchlock to make a noise that will lure both them in. Once you fire the matchlock, climb up the ladder before they f you know, enter the room and crouch. Make another quick save. Crouch your way around the wall. Now be careful for some reason they can't spot you. And once you reach the end or as far as you can go, use your sneezing powder to stop the guard being able to spot you when you jump off on the far left. Climb up to the hookshot. And what you'll see is Lord Noburu will hopefully be here about the same timing, as he will do a full rounds to see all the guards. Once he's here and they start to do their firing demonstration, use the sneezing powder on the developer named NPC and he will turn around and shoot Lord Noburu, getting you your achievement. Now hopefully this helped, remember to like and share with a friend, I'll catch you next time.